Hey. Um, this is going to be also a very short video too. Um, and I'm going to speak a little bit on the snakes on the Balkan. Um, and the snakes that I'm talking about are not the venomous snakes. They are the constrictors. Um, usually the ones that we talk about are called smoke. Adler, elder, with an A, something like that. I think it was in English. But it's a constrictor that usually, you know, li li lives in the fields, kind of similar to the corn snakes over here, I would say. So these snakes are considered an ancestral. Um, if there is a snake that lives, especially under the heart of the home, or it's inside a home somewhere, and if this snake doesn't bother anybody, you are not allowed to kill it. You are not allowed to shoot it out. Because to do so is to invite misfortune on the house. Because that is the stopan um, of the house. That's the main ancestor. And uh, my father actually has told me what he has seen as a you know young man, as a child growing up at his teta's house. That is his father's um, sister. Because uh, she stayed in the old house where my dad or my grandpa was growing up at. So she stayed at that house when she married because everybody else uh, moved out and came to the city. So she kept that. And uh, my my tato, my dad, would go over there, you know, to spend some time and stuff like that. So she had a huge snake that lives uh, that lived in the house. Well, usually these old houses, the way that they're made uh, in the village, are there is no bottom floor because the, the bottom floor is uh, like a stable. It's for the animals. Um, either for the animals or for the uh, the wheat and the crops that they uh, gather. That's what the main floor is, and usually people live up on on top. They go the stairs, they go up, and that's where they live. So this snake was actually like on the bottom on that on that other floor. Um, and my dad was saying that uh, it lived like on the mm, I don't know the English word for those wooden stuff that hold the hold the house together but you know what i'm talking about so it would it would be curled up over there and it would just leave there and they would have chickens you know young little chickens and you know all kinds of animals cats um all kinds of birds and farm animals and this snake would not touch any of them and um that's where it was and it was not allowed to be um bothered at all because that was the main ancestor of of the house that was the stop that one. Second, um, there's legends that they say that the dragons can um, come from snakes that uh, are, I think it was about a hundred years old, and no human eye has laid upon it. Um, and that the same thing goes for carp, I believe the fish is. So a dragon can become from any of those two. And now we're talking about the good dragons, the ones that are protecting the village. And again, that is kind of like um, Stopan of the village, the, the main um, ancestor of the village. Everything is, everything is family connected. Absolutely everything. Um, what else about the snakes? The snakes are also very healing in my city, in a village in my city. Um, they still do this. So I think it's about March when the snakes are coming out, out of hibernation. What these people do is they, um, I'm sorry, I just have a backache. Uh, what they do is they come out, the, the people come out and take their worn shirts, unwashed worn shirts, and they turn them inside out. So they take their shirts and they lay them out on the floor, I mean on the ground, where they know uh, that, you know, the snakes have borrowed underneath for hibernation so they lay them out outside and they wait for the snakes to come out and crawl over them uh, because by the snakes crawling over them they are actually taking away the illness and are healing them so that's it on snakes if something else pops up I'm gonna write it down and then probably make another video you know how I do so see ya later